misogynistic influencer Andrew Tate has been banned from Insta and Facebook. Content creator and influencer Andrew Tate has been removed from Facebook and Instagram for violating Meta's policies following online calls from activists for him to be deplatformed. In accordance with Facebook's policy on dangerous individuals, Tate could be considered to fall under the Tier 3 category. A spokesperson for Meta confirmed to BuzzFeed News that he was banned from using Facebook and Instagram but did not clarify if the ban was permanent or offered details on what specific policies he had breached. The 35-year-old's presence online was described as dangerous in a viral Instagram post last week by queer content creator Matt Bernstein, who detailed Tate's violent, anti-gay, and misogynistic comments made during his various podcast appearances. Tate's notoriety surged over the past couple of weeks in response to viral moments featuring highly offensive comments about women, including a clip where he describes them as property and a tweet where he said women should take some responsibility for being sexually assaulted. At the time of his removal from Instagram, the British-American had 4.7 million followers, 2 million of whom he acquired in the last 30 days, according to analytics platform Social Blade. Social media users responded to Tate's rising popularity by trolling him with a Yassify makeover as a comment on his misogyny. Ruth Davison, CEO of Refuge, a British charity that provides support for women and children experiencing domestic violence, called the ban on Tate's account the right decision in a statement provided to BuzzFeed News on Friday. This is the kind of decisive action needed to tackle the online radicalization of young men towards a violently misogynistic worldview, Davison said. The same kind of action is now needed outside of high-profile cases like this. A we know that women are experiencing stalking, harassment, and abuse online every day, often without so much as a response from social media companies, she said. Refuge warned that online hate and content targeting women had real-world consequences and that it was critical for legislation related to online safety to include policies that addressed violence against women and girls. Tate, a former kickboxer, came into the public eye in 2016 when he was removed from the reality series Big Brother after footage of him assaulting a woman with a belt was made public. Tate insisted that the interaction was consensual. Twitter permanently removed Tate's various accounts that he used between 2017 and 2022, including one that it said it verified in error following a previous ban he managed to skirt around by creating new accounts. His most recent Twitter account was still active until January of this year. Despite companies' attempts to limit his reach, numerous fan pages remain across Instagram that continue to repost his content. If you enjoyed today's video then smash the like button and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching.